so why did I leave my stepdad? Why did I actually go no contact? So it had been 38 years. Well, it wasn't because of the way he was controlling. And when I say controlling, there's the little subtleties. It was controlling of when I would eat. It was the controlling of when I would go to sleep. It was the controlling of bingo. I went down there to look after him after my mum had dementia and gone in a care home and he had a stroke and a heart attack. I was going to get a pacemaker. It was an opportune moment for me to get away from my previous ex's stalking and harassment. I put everything in the storage. I moved into a camper van and as soon as I'd moved down there to him, he said, well, we're going to sign you up for the doctors now. I said, oh, no, no, no. No, you're not going to do that. No. And the look on his face was like, oh, it took him aback. And we went across the road this one time and it was to stay there. And yeah, I couldn't walk over there and across the road until he told me it was safe to. Well, that's what the expectation was, but I did it anyway. You say, wait, I'm going to wait and cross the road. A lot of controlling going on. It was almost like an expectation set up that I had to be home. It wasn't my home. He sit there seething. It's real quiet. You see it. And he'd say, no, it was, it was his heart. Well, no, it wasn't. There was a seethingness to it. So I'd say a seethingness to it. He was a narcissist. But I can't actually say that because I can't diagnose him. He was abusive and he was controlling. And I didn't know that. I'd wanted to go around and see me mum. He'd say, they can't go around. He said, they, they don't want to see you now. So it didn't matter. I said, go around. He says, they don't want to see you right now. He says, you're not allowed to go around right now. I said, jeez, why not? He try and control it so that I couldn't go around and see me mum on my own. He said, we're going there later on. It's really abrupt. No patience. And he would control as well by not actually giving me any information. You know, if we're going out, he says, you know, it's dinner time. He says, oh, so what, what have we got? He said, food. If we had to go somewhere, I'd say, so, um, so, so where are we going then? He said, out. I'd say, so we're going to this place, whatever, whatever. Yes. And he'd never give a straight answer. I started seeing a different side to it. 